What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I have a super exciting episode for you all today. My good buddy Bobby, he messaged me a couple weeks back and told me that they were going to have a bass tournament out on a super shallow rocky river somewhere where I'd wanted to fish for a long time. He invited me up to their cabin to stay the night. You know, as a bunch of guys went up there, we cooked steaks, had an awesome time, met a bunch of new people, really cool guys. And we went out and fished a bass tournament the very next day. Now this bass tournament was kind of unique because it was fishing out of jet boats, which I had never done before. And we were fishing for smallmouth bass, fishing heavy current, rocky river, you know, place where I'd never been, place where I'd always wanted to go, but where I'd never been. I promise I would keep this place secret, but it is, it was a really, really good time. We caught some fish, but it was super cold. A big cold front had come in the night before and actually dropped water temps down into the upper 30s. The water temp was 38, 39 degrees. So we were fishing in some pretty tough conditions, but we had a ball. Let's go ahead and get into the video. see here I'm gonna start off throwing I'm gonna start off throwing that old Fritz side see if we can get bit on that bad boy first cast that line is cold So what are we going for today, Bobby? 20 pounds? 20 pounds. 20 pounds. I can tell you, if we catch 20 pounds of smallmouth, I ain't gonna know what to do. <laughs> I can tell you that. If we don't catch 20 pounds, I'm not doing my Oh, best. Lord. I hear that. So I'm gonna say 20 pounds of smallmouth today, and then I guess my goal would be to catch some over three. That would be pretty exciting. So we're in what, almost seven foot of water, right at seven foot? Yeah. And the water's 39? Yep. Ooh, 39 degree water. That is chilly. You don't wanna fall in. No, do not wanna fall in, that's for sure. Yep, so today we're doing best five, and what we're doing is a length style tournament. So we're gonna be measuring the fish we catch and we're gonna be using like a conversion table to uh, figure out our weight. So pretty cool deal. Going for that 20 pound mark. My man tells me there's some big ones here. So see if we can get some of them. get the shad wrap out the cold water killer <sighs> all right y'all so we jumped over to the other side here uh, on the deeper side and we're going along throwing crankbaits and dragging soft plastics. But earlier this week, it was really warm and the water temps had climbed up a little bit to, oh, got one. There we go, on the shad wrap. I'm up here talking and we got the first one. 
On the shad wrap. He's a little guy. First one of the day. Oh, he is pretty too. Well, what I was saying was the water temps have dropped drastically about, what, five degrees, Bobby, in the last couple days, so. Yeah, dropped overnight. Yeah, yeah, so we're, we're dealing with some, you know, major cold front conditions. This might be our first keeper, I'm not sure. See if he's 12. He bit the old shad wrap. I think he's gonna go 12. Oh yeah. Yep. He is 12 and a quarter, just over 12 and a quarter, not quite 12 and a half. Can you take a picture? Yep. All right, yep, good job. 12 and a quarter. First one on the shad wrap. Hopefully we won't need him. Yeah, hopefully not. He is a beauty though. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting. Pretty. Yep. I just I just stopped it and he hit it when I right when I stopped it and went went back to crank on the old school shad wrap. Hadn't been throwing it too long, so. Get us back in position. Rocks come out. Right yep. Yeah, I could feel the shad wrap like bumping the rocks as I was bringing it in, and when I stopped it, he he loaded up on it. Heck yeah. Well, we got the skunk out the boat. That's all we need. The skunk is out the boat. He's not here by himself. Oh no. Move all right move. all right we're going we're going back up we're going up above them up above them gotcha all right we're making a move game of strategy you have to move sounds good to me you all fish in the same hole Tiny. <laughs> fish a little different i'm gonna actually fish up river gotcha okay all right well i'm gonna pick that shad wrap back up yep. through that Let's see if we can get us another one Bobby, that was a little sketchy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We shouldn't have bumped. I don't know why we bumped. Yeah, that was um unintended <laughs> Check that hole, make sure we didn't rip a well. Yeah, she she hit a little hard. Hits under it, it hits the back. Oh, oh, catches the back. And 
it, it'll rip it right at the transom. Gotcha. Um, it's about 30 feet of water there, the ledge on that side. Uh huh. And we're going to go over to it and then fish, fish in the deep water and fish up on that ledge. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right, new spot. Probably had me scared back here running through some rapids and <laughs> bumping rocks and all, but we made it. <laughs> that wasn't even a really tough area. <laughs> it's usually a no rock bump area. Right. All right, well, it is 10.53, and we have still only caught one fish. So we're struggling a little bit, but we're trying to trying to figure things out, mixing up baits, changing colors, you name it. We came back down the river from where we were and got back on this stretch that we started on and trying to hopefully get on a bite. The sun did come out. Now it's gone back behind a cloud, but we're hoping that's going to change things up and uh maybe get them get them biting a little bit but right now we're struggling we do know some of the other guys in the tournament have fish and uh, a couple nice ones too so we got to get some big ones got plenty of time though got him get him yep Oh, it's a big, nice one, too. I love that. Nice one, dude. Hey, that was two bites in a row. I might only have found them. <laughs> might have found them. That's a pretty one, man. Golden rule is right here. Pretty fish. He's 16. 16. Pretty one, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we get the crankbait. Yep, yep, we'll try to get that. Take it away this way. Just fold that under. Got it. You got it. Yeah, I feel like this might be a pretty good one. No. Oh, get in here. There you go. That's what we came for. Yep. Oh, shit. That's a nice one. Ah, sis. Pretty one. Might have figured something out here. He's seven, just says 17. Hope your mouth down there a bit. I think if you pinch his tail, he's 17. Yeah, yeah he's 17. Yep, right there. Pretty one. All right, come on, your turn. I know, I know. I gotta get one to bite. Good deal. Huh? 17. 17. I'll take you. You hit it like you're supposed to hit it.
All right, so one o'clock. Fish number three at one o'clock. Go. Yep. <laughs> yep, you're right. <laughs> Got another one? Got him? Yeah. Oh, he, oh, he come off too. Dad gummit. Well, we found a little school too. Yeah. If I can just get them. <laughs> oh, God, don't mind. Missed it. I mean, that was a very weird bite. That was, I wasn't sure if it was a bite at first and it was like, ting, 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 and then pulled down on it. I was like, yeah, that is a fish. Very weird, but. Closer to it. There he is. He's on it. Oh, get that one, dog, going it. Oh, it's a nice one, too. Got him, baby. <laughs> All them bites. It, <laughs> it took me 30 bites to finally get one. Oh, it went through to the net. About doggone time, dude. They're stacked right here, and we it is it is 241. Get my phone real quick of this one. That's the second biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. Seven, 17. 17. 17 inches? Take a picture, Take a picture? okay. Got it. I'm gonna get I'll get you a picture. Take a picture of me holding them real quick and then we'll throw them back and we'll get the heck back in there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Ooh, watch your rod. Watch your rod. There we go. Pretty small mouth. Finally got one. <laughs> Finally. Had to work for him. Dude, I'm talking about work. I'm going to throw my a little further up, see what we can do. Well, I had fun. No, I had fun. Didn't get on them. Yeah, we I mean, almost got that 20 pounds. Yeah, we were about mm, 15 pounds short. <laughs> we were yeah, one bite away. One bite away. Yeah, it was it, it was fun. Got to got to catch some. We kind of figured some out right here at the end, but. We were having trouble connecting, but uh, we did get right many bites. Got zigs when we should have zagged. Yeah, yeah, we just, this morning, we think we got on a bad rotation and just other people were at the right spots and we were at the wrong spots, but that's, that's how fishing goes. So we're gonna head back to the ramp and see how everybody did. Figure out a winner. Oh, 
All right, so I took my chest off before we ever did the weigh-in, but it was really, really cool how we did it. That particular river has a slight limit on it, so you can't keep fish. I believe it's between 14 and 20 or 22 inches. I can't exactly remember, but the way they do it is they have a conversion sheet. You catch the fish. Y'all saw we took a picture of them, uh, you know, measured them on a golden rule, took a picture of them, and then we had a weight conversion that we wrote down on the sheet. And then at the end of the day, when you do the weigh-in, you compare all your sheets. You have, you know, pictures to prove what you caught. Really, really cool deal. But I'm going to tell you, we had a little bit of a tough day. And we finished third. We did finish third. We had 8.93, I believe, is what our weight was. But second place was 9, just over 9. It was like 9.16. And first place, they absolutely blew us out. They caught some monster smallmouth. They had right at 20 pounds. It was like 19.8 something pounds. Had a five and a half pounder. I'm, I'm gonna put the pictures up here so y'all can see them, but they had a five and a half pounder. They had another one that was like almost 20 inches. Another one that was like four and a half pounds. They had some absolute giant smallmouth. Beautiful fish. You know, I caught my PB. Uh, or not my PB smallmouth, my second largest smallmouth ever on this trip, but just did not get into any of those really big ones. But those guys found a hole, they were throwing a jerk bait on them, and they caught some really big fish. They caught a couple cranking as well. Uh, but, you know, the bite for us was tough. We just, we got in a bad rotation. We were kind of going a little while between bites. We actually went hours between bites. So it was a little bit tough, but it was really cool to go out there, fish a different area, to ride the jet boats. That was really, really cool. Just a totally different aspect of, uh, you know, what I'm used to, you know, totally, totally different. You know, I'm not used to jet boats. I'm not used to smallmouth fishing. I am a river fisherman, but just a totally different deal um, up there. So I was, uh, I was pretty excited to go up there and fish and I definitely want to go back. I think we're going to get into them a little bit better next time, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, a little bit different style of fishing, but you know, who doesn't like catching smallmouth? They're such a hard pulling fish. Uh, really, really cool to go out there and fish. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.